What would life be without photosynthesis? Well, you may think it perfectly fine and maybe possibly even be happier because you wouldn't have to learn about it in science lessons. But actually, we wouldn't have life without it. The process of life depends upon it. Not only are photosynthetic organisms the main producers of food, but without photosynthesis, Earth's atmosphere would lose its oxygen. The general gist of what happens in photosynthesis is that green plants and algae trap light from the sun to fix carbon dioxide with hydrogen and water. This makes organic compounds which then provide food for not only the plant itself but also all animals. So now that we know how important it is and how it starts off all of our food production, you can see why we need to learn more about it in detail. Photosynthesis happens in leaf cells. They contain tiny organelles called chloroplast, which contains a green substance called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll molecules sit on the surface of the chloroplasts and capture light energy from the sun, which is fundamental for photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a chemical reaction in which carbon dioxide and water are converted to glucose and oxygen by the energy provided from the light energy absorbed by chlorophyll. It is an endothermic reaction because it takes in energy from its surroundings. We show the light energy in brackets because whilst it is not a substance, it is an essential requirement for photosynthesis to happen. We could have written the equation like this instead. The equation is a very simple representation for a complex process, but is as much detail as we need to know at this stage. So we know the light energy comes from the sun and is absorbed by chlorophyll. But where do the carbon dioxide and water come from? Plants absorb water through their roots and it moves through the plants and into the leaves by transpiration. Watch our video on xylem and transpiration to learn more about this process. Carbon dioxide enters into the leaves from the air through the stoma on the underside of the leaf. What then happens? Glucose and oxygen are made. Some of the glucose is placed for respiration and some is converted into insoluble starch. This can then be stored and turned back into glucose at a later stage. Oxygen is actually just a byproduct of photosynthesis. There are some useful byproducts in this world. Sawdust from the lumber industry, smoke detectors from space research, but I think we can all agree that producing oxygen is the most valuable of all byproducts. Green plants are called producers or autotropes because they have the ability to produce their own food. They are the start of the food chain and every animal relies upon them either directly if they are herbivore like a rabbit or indirectly if they are a carnivore like a fox. So you just need to remember that carbon dioxide and water react to glucose and oxygen. In the presence of light energy from the sun, this happens inside the chloroplasts in the leaf, with chlorophyll being the green pigment that absorbs the light energy. The glucose made by photosynthesis feeds all animals on earth and the oxygen